What is going on, my lunatic fringe? Guys, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit the like button on the way in. Subscribe to the channel if you want. If you don't like me, subscribe to the channel so that every day you get notified and you can tell me that I'm crazy, that I'm out of my mind, and you can put a comment down below to remind people, don't trust this guy. It's awesome when you do that. And dislike button was made just for you, you little babies. Anyway, let's kick this off and let's talk about what's going on. First, however, Terra Casino, if you guys haven't, go check it out. Uh, they're giving away, and by the way, you can play First of Olympians right now in your region. You'll have to check if, uh, the availability, but they're still giving away 2 million euros uh, from now until December 22nd. There's a long time, so you have an opportunity to win big. Remember, they gave away 2.5 million to one single person just recently. Crazy number. And you can use all kinds of different cryptos for this, including, although not listed up here, XRP. You can use uh, Litecoin. You can use Chainlink, I believe. There's all kinds of different cryptos that you can use. You can attach your ERC20 wallet. You can attach your Bitcoin wallet. You can attach your Cosmos wallet. You can attach your um, Link wallet. Whatever it is that you use. You can attach and you can start playing over here today. So sign up at the link in the description below. And if you're looking for meme coins, meme coins are traded over here at Terraport.finance. Not only are they traded over here, you can also earn. They have a farming protocol. There is a launch pad with a new uh, crypto called Selenium getting ready to launch in 38 more days. You also have liquid staking available to you. Now let's get over that and let's break down exactly what's going on in this market. First up, I gave you yesterday the repeg proposal and was a little wordy. Now, um, this was, Luna Knots just kind of simplified this thing, right? Uh, USTC um, market maker, easier to understand version, okay? The goal of the uh, collateral market maker system is to stabilize USTC's value, keeping it around $1 by using a collateralized, which is backed by asset approach. This strategy relies on traders using arbitrage to buy and sell USTC whenever it goes above or below $1, which helps stabilize its price. First, arbitrage trading. When USTC is above a dollar, collateral is added to the treasury. When it's below, collateral flows out. A small burn tax is applied to long-term volatility, to smooth long-term volatility and build up collateral. Now, the system holds a diversified mix of assets to back USTC. Each asset has a fixed percentage in the portfolio, balancing stability and growth potential. Something like Bitcoin or something like that we know is good for maybe a 2 or 3x in this new market. Uh, collateral ratio is a key metric. It shows how much collateral backed USTC. The system is designed to lock and prevent trading if the collateral ratio goes too low, ensuring stability. So one of the things that we were... One of the things that we witnessed in the collapse of UST and the Terra ecosystem originally was, if you guys remember, May of 2021, uh, Jupiter, or Jump, I'm sorry, Jupiter, Jesus Christ, Jump Crypto, which was led by Kanav Korea at the time, made a deal in order to buy up a bunch of UST in order to make it appear that the algorithm kept it stable. They bought something like 600 million worth of it. Okay, now we know that from unsealed documents from the court case. And then what we didn't get mentioned, but what was actually true was one year later, almost to the day around May of 2022, they initiated a conversation with Duquan about buying some Bitcoin. When they did that, Duquan took the liquidity out of the UST pool in order to buy the Bitcoin. During the time that that transaction was to take place, the transaction did not go through because they didn't complete it. But once he had removed the assets, Jump Crypto shorted UST and then started to sell off and they sold off maximum amounts, hundreds of millions at that time, which caused what we call the death spiral. So Jump Crypto, Kanav Korea, and by the way, for those of you that are wondering, Kanav Korea, once it was announced that a Wells notice had been issued from the SEC and the CFTC, Kanav Korea immediately resigned from Jump Crypto and we haven't seen hide nor hair of him, nor has he even posted on Twitter since then. So just to give you guys a, a kind of a breakdown, uh, Jump Trading, Jump Crypto, located here in Chicago where I am, they were the ones that were behind the collapse. Now, by the way, they were also, and it should be noted, they were the people that helped along the way. So uh, I don't want to vilify them despite the fact that they were the villains in this case. They were only given that opportunity because of Duquan. And that's what we've really figured out during the course of this lawsuit. So uh, now that you're up to speed, let's get back into it. So um, USTC previously lacked strong collateral backing. When its value dropped, it created a feedback loop of declining prices, ultimately causing the system's collapse. And what that really means is uh, when you 
sell your UST back in the old days, it would automatically burn, but a small portion would be used to burn Luna Classic, which was at that time Luna. And that's how it went from a billion to 343 million in, I think it was about 18 months. So, uh, but but here's the other thing. Luna was the same way. When you bought and sold Luna, a little bit of that was used to, to stabilize UST price. And it was back and forth. So it was an algorithmic sort of thing, but it did require on asset collateralization. And when Duquan messed with that asset collateralization, that was the end. And then that caused the death spiral. And then Luna continued to be minted and UST continued to be minted back and forth in order to stabilize each other's price. But the money didn't exist because Duquan had taken it out to buy the Bitcoin by the time the Bitcoin was bought. And the Bitcoin, by the way, was eventually bought. But by the time that Bitcoin uh, was bought, there were trillions, trillions of Luna Classic, uh, now Luna Classic, and, the, and there were billions of USTC. So uh, this was an, an absolute attack. They shorted it. They made, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure the amount was 420 million and for those of you that are weed savvy that's just it's not funny but it's funny uh they made uh, jump trading made 420 million off of that collapse so that brings us to back to here decentralized currency has unique benefits like being free from state control and inflation now that's the benefits of decentralized currency uh three functions of money ustc aims to serve as a medium of exchange unit of account and store of value um swap and mint ratios long-term strategy strategic asset growth um the cmm is a carefully designed design system to keep USTC stable at $1 by using collateral to back it and provide incentives for traders to keep it near its target price. So you're going to be incentivized in order to keep it. For example, you might get uh, some sort of staking reward or something like that for you holding on to it. And then every time there's buying and selling back and forth, they're going to be burning some of the cryptos that exist in the ecosystem to try to get it closer to uh, that, 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 that simple sort of peg if you will. And also, uh, it is my belief here that some of this on that burn structure will go towards collateralization in the beginning to make sure that there, there exists the collateral to make it happen. Now, that summarizes where we are. Moving on here, uh, nothing from Terra underscore money in the last couple of days after this, but we do know that we are still holding on to a significant amount of supply when we come to the top holders and we look at something like a USTC. Then we see Terraform Lab still has 290 million and Luna Foundation Guard has 1.8 billion. Now, I, I do think that, again, the 1.8 billion, I, I, it, I firmly believe at this point that it is probably uh, blacklisted, but I don't know that for sure. Um, so I don't know how much of a difference that will make uh, largely when you come over here, like the 7.8 billion right here. Um, I mean, maybe that would reduce to six, you know, six billion. Uh, but then that would, you know, then we'd just be worried about this and it wouldn't change anything. But as you can see right here, we're getting a pump. Donald Trump has won the 2024 election. Crypto is a parabolic and you don't have enough crypto that's where cryptonomy.finance comes in you can stake your crypto we've got about nine months before the big part of the bull market is really kicking off so this is your last opportunity your final opportunity to set yourself up a long-term fixed staking plan and guys you're going to want to have some tron some xrp some ethereum some bitcoin some of whatever it is that you like right now is the best time to take advantage of the opportunity to accumulate desired assets and there's over 800 tokens available for staking where you can earn up to 180 percent apy also for me there is a competition happening right now in which i could win a prize by referring you guys over i'm going to make another tron deposit today because i've told you before i think just is going to be one of the goats in this industry Folks, one of my high confidence plays is Tron. I'm putting 2,600 Tron into a nine month staking protocol with a yield of 71.8%. That's gonna give me about four to 5,000 Tron by the time this is done. All right, guys, my Tron is set up. I am ready to go. This bull market is getting ready to happen. As we approach the end of the year, is going to be hosting numerous giveaways just like in previous years. It's become a tradition. Uh, you, uh, you've got Halloween prizes, you've got Christmas prizes, and you've got newsletters that will allow you to see exactly what's going on. Don't forget the important part, in my opinion, and that is the launch pool. We've created multiple contracts over here. We're not creating a new one today, but as you can see from the returns that we're getting over here, they're getting significant multipliers with every investment for the launch pool. So make sure that you sign up for the launch pool today. So something is up. People are starting to pay attention. So let's get back to it. Um, uh, 
we know some of these wallets are going to go away. We also know that this one's probably going to go away. There'll be a big number here. The one thing that we always have to concern ourselves with is uh, Binance. Binance has 2.5 billion USTC. Uh, Binance also has 2.3 trillion uh, Luna Classic. So they they control an inordinate amount of the supply. So um, this and their, and their wallets are whitelisted. So I think even with this burn process, we're probably still going to be looking at you know uh, a complicated and long term scenario, which would require a lot of investors to take their money off of Binance in short order and start trading on chain, which is a good thing, by the way. But you know we'll see how this all plays out. Uh, remember, Binance doesn't own all of this. Um, this is for traders. There is a community pool, but the more you buy out of that community pool, again, you guys know you guys know the drill. And there's going to be great arbit arbitrage opportunities. And I think that this would cause a bleed from Binance uh, to continue to reduce that supply, and it will benefit everybody along the way. So um, I, I do think that that's going to happen. So we'll we'll peg that for right now, and we'll talk about it later. Uh, Elbun also, by the way, just in case you guys didn't understand, uh, someone wants to buy Terra at a higher price than one can get it on Terra. Support us if you like the work. And what this is, why I'm bringing this up is because there is a, an order book now. So with an order book, that means that you can set yourself buy and sell orders uh, in order to profit. And what you do is you go in and you buy it for a certain amount. Um, and then you set, a, you set a buy order for a certain amount. You set a sell order for a certain amount. And then you keep the profit. Okay. How long it takes is up to you. Did you make the right decision on which direction it was going to go in your buying and selling? But you have an order book and it's avail available through the Elbun project. Burn tracker 251 billion. Uh, so you know we'll, we'll see what happens over the next little while. But the significant amount of burn, which now we're going to really talk about what happened here. Okay, so we got a significant amount of burn. We've burned three times as much as we burned over the course of the last two years total. But then we have this article that came up, and this is what I've been telling you guys um, for the last little while. It's Terra Luna Classic sending mixed signals as lunk burn rate grows. So we got a fantastic, huge move. Then we got Donald Trump becoming the president. We got all the things that we really wanted to see in cryptocurrency that will make this a, a great opportunity. We know that Gary Gensler gone. And if and by the way, Gary Gensler cannot be fired by Donald Trump. Okay, just so you guys understand, in the United States, you, you cannot fire Gary Gensler because he's a commissioner and they're there for a term, but he doesn't have to be the chair. And the chair is the person that leads the SEC. So what could very well happen at this point is that Hester Pierce or Mark Uyeda, who are both pro-crypto SEC, C commissioners could be appointed to the chair role and Gary Gensler would be out there and then he would just serve out his commission in the corner like a bad boy uh, crying like a baby eating a green onion. Okay, and that's why I have my microphone green today, just in case anybody was wondering, because uh, it's for Gary Gensler crying in the corner like a baby eating a green onion. Gary Gensler, you're out. So the floor has been laid for a gigantic move. We just didn't see a gigantic move. When we look at the, the rest of this, meme coins did not really pump. Luna Classic got a little bit of a recovery, but it didn't, and we didn't get really pump. Uh, we do have the testing report, uh, the review and testing support for the reverse charge tax mechanism, which is underway right now. But when we come and we look at the price action, we're still at kind of a 93 sort of level here. Now, a couple days ago, we did spike up there and we dropped that zero. Didn't last for very long. That was just a test of uh, where we are. Are. And now, if you look at it from this context right here, you can see that it just really looks like we're kind of closing it in at this point right there. Maybe even, I, you know, I don't know, uh, but it looks like there's a breakout imminent. The market is set to soar. Uh, we do continue to have positive days on the way in. We could back test the bottom of this channel one more time, but the more likely scenario is still a breakout of this range, a come up here, a boom up here, another move up here, and then get into the golden zone. That golden zone is between 16450 and 1867 right in this little spot right here and guys i just want to say that i when you zoom out here and you start to look at volume this is a volume node right here which is why i think that that's ultimately where we're going to go now over the next couple of days weeks we're going to see a whole lot going on in this market with the burn process, with this ceramic working on how this protocol would implement, how it would work, um, Strathcole has limited his response at this point. Not that we rely on Strathcole, but he is, you know, the he's one of the tech nerds, if you will, in this space that can help us 
uh, digest exactly what the idea and the premise and everything is. So um, uh, we'll see uh, an, uh, about a week from now, we'll get the information that we need from him so that we can all kind of look at it and decide if we agree, et cetera, et cetera. But that will come from Commonwealth and there will be some discussions in Commonwealth about it in a couple of days. So um, we'll know more at that time. So in the meantime, uh, Luna Classic price trading volume is up 46%. Something's happening. Price is up 2%. Something's happening. Uh, USTC up 300%. Uh, market cap up 5%. Something is happening. What is happening over here? The repeg, guys, the repeg, okay? This is just the start. Now, at some point, very, very soon, like very, like we're going to get, there's going to be a moment in time and that moment in time uh, when we see this $20 billion, we're up on the day, right? Uh, for, for total market cap, uh, there's going to be a moment in time where this kind of thing just absolutely takes off. When it does, at first, it will drag Luna Classic along, which is why I'm pretty bullish that we're going to have an explosive move. Also, if you look at total two, uh, the question is always, uh, are we outperforming? So, this is Bitcoin included. This is without Bitcoin down here. And you can see here in my total two and total three, this is with Ethereum. No, this is with no Bitcoin. And then this is with no Bitcoin and Ethereum. So you can see both of them are outperforming Bitcoin today, which means that altcoin season could be rapidly approaching and upon us because when you look at your market cycles, this is your path to altcoin season. First of all, Bitcoin pumps, then Ethereum is outperforming Bitcoin. And we hear talks of the flipping. Flipping we're not worried about right now, but e Ethereum right now is outperforming Bitcoin. Money is starting to trickle into large cap where we can see buy-ups happening. And what are we seeing right now? So just so you guys know, what we saw is Solana is now trading at about $200. It popped. Um, we had uh, Ave has popped. Look at what Ave is doing. Um, uh, Cardano, Card look at what Cardano's doing. Uh, when you go down here and you start to look at some of these, uh, you know, random crypto, they're starting to perform. Uh, just yesterday, we had 20% increase on Crow in one day. So you're starting to see that happen. Nonetheless, that means that the large caps are going to start outperforming Ethereum in, an, in a short period. And then we're going to get that alt season. And then when we get alt season, then that's when Luna Classic absolutely takes off because people will start to find it in this range. They're like, wait a minute. I remember this, uh, if it's now safer for me, if it's now being community led and community controlled, nobody can, can, can do what Duquan did, then, oh my God, this is my opportunity to ape back in just to see what happened. You know why? Because everybody loves a comeback story. This Luna Classic is going to be the ultimate comeback story. And if you guys are part of this journey, then you're going to be super excited about it because it's going to get absolutely bonkers crazy very, very soon. Uh, just, I just want to lay that out for you. By the way, uh, I, I, I thought, I, I thought, and I'm going to say this, I thought that it was really, really dead. But now that I look at Luna a little bit more, I get a sense here that maybe Luna with a community takeover like it's getting, um, not this range over here, okay? But this range up here where it went to like seven or eight dollars or maybe even when it spiked up here to about $25, that is entirely possible for us to see a 10, 20 to 100X on Luna because that is, you know, it's the same, it's, it's the same Cosmos chain. There's not a whole lot of difference. It's interchangeable back and forth. Uh, but as a community takeover, this thing might actually start to run as well. I don't know for sure if it will, but, um, you do what you want with your Luna. Anyway, this is not financial advice. I'm always right. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys. I do think that we're getting to that spot right now where it's all about to explode and we're going to get a huge altcoin season and Luna Classic is going to run super hard. Let me know what you think in the comments down below.